Let's try this again. Um, I think we're just going to have to do a live one. That ought to hit him. There we go. Arlene, go away. Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19, uh, where we play this game on insane difficulties. I'm Zero Set the Name or Speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. Okay, uh, we're going to make an executive decision, and that is that we are no longer going to carry our shitty primitive bow around um, and that stack of arrows, and that's going to free us up two slots. The reason I'm doing that is because, A, we don't have any points in archery anyway, um, but it is my tentative plan later on to respec into an agility stealth build at which time we will we will get maximum um, archery skill um, the other reason is that I may I went ahead and took that steel that we found in the last episode in that workbench and I made myself another silencer so now I have a silencer on the pistol as well as one here on the um, the rifle so if we need to do quiet kills we have the ability to do that just with our guns um, so yeah that that just frees us up that two more slots uh, which is always a good thing of course all right, um, we have a turn in to do, but before we do that, I just wanted to show you, I spent um, uh, the night mining, and so we got a total of uh, a little over 3,000 coal, a little over 3,000 lead, and a little over 3,000 nitrate. I actually still had some nitrate here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some gunpowder cranking up. Um, so we need 54 minutes and 56 seconds of burn time on that here. Let's not do this the hard way. Let's do it the easy way. So probably somewhere around there, maybe just a little bit more. That's kind of loud. Okay. So yeah, that's going to give us over 3,000 gunpowder, and we already have um, a little over 1,000 in here. So that's going to be great. A lot of that we're going to turn into pipe bombs for Horde Knight uh, 21, which we are going to do here again at this base. We'll see how it goes. When there's not going to be too many more Horde Knights, though, where we're going to be able to continue doing it here with our current setup. Um, you know. Oh, and that reminds me also, check this out. We are now game stage 52, which means we are now into tier 2, and we're going to start seeing even better loot now. I really am enjoying this this whole looting and tier system. I really, I, I think it's, it, it's great. I think it adds a lot to the game and improves the questing system quite a bit overall. Okay, so let's put that back in there. And now we're going to get all this lead that we farmed up, uh, smelt it down, so when we come back, we can make a shit ton of uh, bullets and buckshot. So let's put like 79 in there and let that go to town for us. Excellent. Okay. So I think we're ready to go. Um, I ate some food right before I started the camera, so we're good to go on food. I would like to... Um, let's take all of this with us too because we might be able to sell a couple of these things to Trader Wreck. I don't know if Trader Jen wants any of them. And I also want to stop at the vending machines again uh, just to restock our food. I've, I've been relying more upon the vending machines and the canned food for our sustenance than I have been for hunting. Um, and it's not that I don't want to go hunting. I actually enjoy going hunting. It's kind of fun. But... Um, you know, there's just too many other things to do at the moment, so we'll just keep using the canned food while it's, uh, whoops, uh, available for us uh, to do. Uh, plus, the other good thing about you know coming to the vending machines is we get to stock up on the on the good candies too. So I don't care about shit drops or nerds. Covert cats is sneak damage for five. Yeah, you know, maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll stock up on those when we do our stealth build. But for now, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and, and buy some more coffee too, just because. Uh, we need to we need to keep that going for mining. And I, since I don't have a garden yet, I'm relying upon finding the grounds and or buying them from the vending machines. Okay, we definitely want sugar butts. We want eye candy um, and salmon and more rockbusters. Very good. Now that still leaves us um, almost nine thousand coin. So we're doing, you know, we're building up our money supply too for that moment when we find something like really kick ass from the traders. Um, and we'll be able to hopefully afford it. Let's just check her and see if, if she'll if buy some of buy. the stuff. I think I've some of it she doesn't want. Of medicine in the wasteland. 
Okay, she wants that. So, did she, oh, she must have reset. Because I tried to sell that stuff to her the other day and she wouldn't buy it. Um, all right. So that gets us back up to 92. Let's take a quick look at her inventory. No, this is the same. That would be nice to have. You know what? We're going to buy that. We're, are we going to buy that? Hold on. Yeah, we're going to buy that. It's really cheap, too. It's only 200 and some odd coin. Uh, automatic Weapon 7, Craft M60 Machine Guns. We're buying it. <laughs> we are buying that, baby. Absolutely going to buy that. Okay, we got a Son of Shaka Mob, but that doesn't work with our double barrel. Uh, a yellow AK, but nah, we're going we're gonna to keep finding that stuff, so I'm not going to buy that. All right, let's do just a quick check of her main inventory. I would like to get a Bellows, if she has one for sale. Dart Trap. Do, 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 do. She's got a couple first aid kits. They're so expensive, though. We're doing okay on um, on first aid. I mean, you know, because we we found some. Thanks for the business. You're welcome. We're We've... open from dawn to dusk. That's Just, good to know. You know, we don't have clocks. Right. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna put this on our sniper rifle. It's only a two by scope, but it's still better than not having a scope at all. And let's go ahead and read this. Um, craft M60 machine guns. Nice. Now that's not something we're gonna do right away because um, you know, we need to get our machine gunner skill really need to get it up to four so we can make a blue before I do that. Uh, but there's a there's a high probability we'll come across an M60 before we even you know get to that point anyway. But we have the ability to do it when the time comes. So I think that was money well spent. All right, let's take this stuff back to the base, drop it off, and then we will go do our turn in and see what's next. Dang it, I forgot to take the sugar bus before we did all that stuff. Uh, oh, well, it's all right. We'll, we'll try and remember next time. Um, let's take a couple of these health bars, too. Um, because, you know, if we if we take a critical, we can take one of those and it'll speed up the, you know, the, the healing process from the critical. Plus, give us more health and that sort of thing, too. So I'm digging this candy. It's actually pretty cool, you know, that we have, have that and have those different options they're almost they're, you know they're kind of like almost mini buffs i guess you might call them oh you know what this is the stuff i couldn't sell to trader Jin. okay so we're gonna take this to trader hugh um except for she might buy these things well i'll tell you what i'll do guys i'll just meet you at trader hugh i might go back to trader Jin and see if i can sell those other things just so we can get them sold um and then um uh, I'll just meet you guys over at Trader Hugh. Okay, so be back in a bit. All right, we got a wolf up there. Let's deal with him first. Is that a dire wolf or just a wolf wolf? I think it's just a wolf wolf. He does a lot of zigzagging. Shit, that is a dire wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Man, those are a tough son of a bitch. Of course, they buffed all the animals. Uh, ow. That hurt. All right. Let's go ahead and harvest him. He's right on top of our bike, too. Okay, we got 35 feet out of that one. The last one that we tried to harvest only got like 26, but I think it's because... I damaged him after he was, uh, you know, dead. So, hey, look, there's a pig, too. We were just talking about hunting earlier. Now we have hunting opportunities coming our way. Let's hit the pig, too. Anybody else? I think we're good. All right, let's check our first airdrop after we've hit tier 50 and see what we get. Or level 50. Okay, that's good. We can make iron armor, and then the rest of it's just okay. <laughs> Not terrible, but okay. Tier 50, uh, no, tier 2 because of game stage 50. That's what my mouth, my brain was trying to tell my mouth to say, but my mouth decided to do whatever the hell it wanted to. No surprise there, right? Okay, let's grab this, and I think we're good to go. All right, I never did get over to Trader Jim because I wanted to, to get to this airdrop uh, while the getting was good. So we're just going to go straight to Trader Hugh and see if we can sell, um, you know, some of this additional stuff that we have.
You know, I might, uh, once I get an auger, I might get my construction on and extend this road all the way over to here. I would do almost all of that off camera, of course, because I mean, who wants to watch me dig for several hours? But I would, you know, I would show you highlights of it, of course, but this, just getting over here is such a pain in the ass, man. This terrain is so rough. And, you know, that's a drop we could never find. I think I may have mismarked that, so I'm just going to take that off of the, the map. We might run across that drop someday, or we might not. We'll see. Let's go ahead and put the food in here. And you are... You know who I am, Trader Incredible. Hugh. I didn't think you'd pull it off. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay. You know what else is really cool is that it's hard to decide which reward to take, and that's a good thing, you know, that there, that we finally have some good stuff in here, because Alpha 18 and earlier, sometimes you would get the shittiest rewards. In fact, I remember in the Wasteland series that we did uh, about a month or so ago, I finished Tier 5. I mean, finished the whole chain of Tier 5, and one of the rewards the game offered me was like five of these bandages, normal first aid bandages. And I'm going, are you kidding me? <laughs> what the hell? Oh man, anyway, okay, so this is good. This is a good improvement. Uh, well done, fun pimps, for sure. Now, what do we want to take? We don't need this. It does 46 damage compared to this one, which does 45 damage. Uh, no, 48. Well, that's because it's got the the thingamadoodle on it though um and i have actually have quite a few gun parts back at the base too we have like two normal antibiotics and at least one herbal and some honey so we don't really need these either the weighted head mod could be useful but in terms of value i mean these are this this is the best value oh no i guess this is you know what? i'm going to take this for the parts because i do plan on eventually making you know, that M60 if we don't come across one. So I think we'll go ahead and take that. Uh, we get uh, 5,060 XP and 1469 Dukes Casino uh, tokens. Now, the 69 bonus... Um, I'm trying to think where that's coming from. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, I'll figure it out. Okay, anyway, yeah, we're taking the AK. Now, let's take a look at your inventory, and we want to sell some things to you. I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. Now, uh, have we looked at your inventory? Craft basic resources like ore, stone, and wood into more compact stacks. Yeah, you know, that's... That's okay, I guess. Uh, the thing about this, though, is we should get it just so we can, you know, finish the 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 tree and get the bonus, uh, the the total bonus, which I think is if they haven't changed it, it's one shotting an ore, uh, which would make mining like really fantastic. So how much do we got? Ninety five hundred. Let before we buy that, let's look and see what else he's got. So he's got a nice yellow steel chest armor. The thing is, though is the only thing this is going to do for us is give us plus two more crit resistance, but we're going to lose two mod slots. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to do that. He's got an iron crossbow. He's got motorcycle handlebars. That's kind of expensive, though. Tech junkie craft robotic turret, craft robotic turret shells. Robotic turret shells. So, oh. So you, we no longer use junk ammo then for those, huh? Interesting. Okay. That's not really a high priority or a focus of mine right now, but maybe later. Maybe later we'll get into that. So I think um, this we'll probably buy. Let's just look at his normal inventory really quick. It's got some forged steel. Um, we're going to need that, but hopefully we'll come across a, a uh, whatchamacallit, a crucible soon so we can just make our own steel. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look what he's got here. A pump shoddy. It's a yellow pump shoddy. So we would have two mod slots if we got this. Uh, man, that's tempting, you guys. That is really tempting. That is so tempting that I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. It's done. 
It's only money. We'll get more later. <laughs> All right, cool. We finally have ourselves a pump shotgun. And you know what we could do also is um, let's buy this to go along with it. Wait, can we use these on shotguns? Well, that's all you're going to buy. I'll let you show yourself out. Let's just double check that we can use those on shotguns. We can't. It's probably because of the tube mod. Okay, I'm glad I checked that. Not, you know, not that buying another one of these would have been a bad thing because we would have eventually put it to use too, but... Okay. Um, do you have anything else that would work with our shiny new pump shotgun? A foregrip mod probably would... Now, don't we have one of those, too? Daylight's two? burning. Uh, I thought we did. Yeah, we do. Okay. So we can put a foregrip mod on there, and then hopefully later on we'll, we'll be able to either make or find a tube uh, extender. So let's buy the foregrip mod so we can put that back on our AK that we just um, robbed it from. And we still have enough money left over to purchase this, which I'm going to do. And I think that's probably all we should spend money on at the moment. We could get a wood splitter, but nah, I don't think we need to do that right now. If there's nothing else, okay. you be on your way. Fan frickin' tastic, guys. Fan frickin' tastic. We are moving up in the world. Let's go ahead and um we've got an Aragon no, I'm gonna bunker buster on there. Yeah, that's good. If he had a an iron breaker, I would have probably bought that for the pick, but I don't think we need I don't think we need the uh the dirt mod bus we, we should probably get that for when I build my road, if, if I build my road. I haven't even decided if I'm going to do that yet. So anyway, we're getting we're totally getting sidetracked here. So what do we have on here? We've got the duckbill. So I want to put that on the pump because I, I really like the duckbill mod. It just makes it so I don't have to aim so well. <laughs> That's really what it's about, man. That's really what it's about. Okay, cool. Um, this we're going to probably scrap so that we can um, use the parts later on for our auto shotgun, which we can make. I'm just waiting for my scale to get up a little higher before we, we do that. Okay, let's make sure everything's loaded, because after you, you know, change out mods, the game likes to unload your weapon. And look at that. All right. Pump shotgun, guys. Pump shotgun. I'm stoked. That's so awesome. Okay. Awesome. Okay, Trader Hugh, we need to take another job from you, don't we? So he's got, um, I want to do the tier two stuff, and I want to do the stuff that's close. So he's got a buried supplies to the west. Yeah, you know what? Let's hit that. For you. Let's hit that enough. because, you know, now that we are um, into tier two, we might actually, I forgot to do the sugar butts again. I'm just not used to the candy. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Let's buy one of these and we'll hang on to our, our red tea. Uh, I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, the buried supply quest might actually give us something decent because of the fact that we're into tier two now at game stage 50. I'm not going to take these with us. Let's just get rid of them and let's read this. All right, guys, we found the treasure. I'm still kind of trying to figure out how this uh, how this whole yellow circle thing works because I was actually digging kind of this direction, and then I heard the little clink sound, you know, that it makes saying you're getting closer to the treasure. And so I kind of interpreted that to mean I needed to keep going this way, but then uh, when I saw the circle drop, um, I, I thought, well, maybe we need to come back this way. And then I finally found it after quite a bit of digging, but... Not really sure how that's supposed to work. Let, before we loot the treasure. Okay, you know what? Now I think I'm starting to see what's happening here. Because this this circle has shrunk. It's a lot smaller than it was when we first started. So I think what you have to do when you hear the clink sound is you have to determine, you know, where the circle is starting to shrink in on because it looks like it's still centered over the treasure there. Okay, I get that. Now, now I see what's going on. I wa that wasn't 100% clear to me until just now. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this thing and see what we got. Alright, so eh, okay. That stuff's okay. It's not, not that great, actually. <laughs> but we'll take it. Are you gonna purchase something? I uh, sure doubted it. 
but you pulled it off. Holy smokes, man. 50 flaming crossbow bolts. We are going to take that, and we will use that later on uh, when we have a crossbow. That, that, that'll be a good Horde Knight uh, thing to have. All right, next job. Uh, so the buried supplies kind of sucked, um, and I'm not going to do the tier one buried supplies anyway. So let's do, before we do this, let's take a look and, um, see where our other quest is and see if we can go in the same direction. All right. So this one here is, um, to the south. Okay, and so let's see what now what again what he has again. Unfortunately, his two tier two quests are not to the south. One's to the west and one's to the north. Well, west is closer to south than north is, right? Ah <laughs> oh, shit, that's the stupid um creamery. Oh man. You, you know what I don't like about the creamery is it's actually a fair amount of work to get through it, and there's no big chest at the end. There's only a, a loot. Uh, an ammo bag and a couple of chests. Ah, oh, well, what the hell? Let's just do it. Okay, so here's what we'll do. You know what I'll, I'll probably do is I'm going to probably go maybe on just a little bit of a road trip and we'll kind of uncover this town and hopefully we'll find a highway that starts to head south to see if we can intersect and come back here because, man, I don't want to go across country if we don't have to. It is so rough. This terrain is so rough, you know, going across country. So I think that's what we'll do. Look at that. There's our bear. We need to kill him uh, for the testosterone. Um, so let's see. How are we going to do this? He's going to... He's going to hurt. Um, looks like we got a zombie over here, too, that we probably better take care of first. Come here, dummy. Well, I, we're probably just going to have to AK this guy. Um, I wonder if we could... I don't need that. I wonder if we could um, use a, a pipe bomb on him, too, just to sop him up a little bit. Let's try this. I didn't get that one close enough. <laughs> that didn't work at all. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Let's try this again. Um, I think we're just going to have to do a live one. That ought to hit him. There we go. Arlene, go away. Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good. Holy crap, that was scary. <laughs> Look at our health. <laughs> okay, well, we did it. Man, those guys are tough. They, I mean, they've always been tough, but they're really tough now. Holy crap. All right, um, right, let's see. We need our knife. I thought for a minute there we were, we were going to buy the farm, man. Okay, so we got 40 pieces of meat um, out of him and the testosterone. So what do we need for the cigar? 250 plant fibers in one paper. All right, you know what? I'm, I'll am work on that off camera back at the base.
was a buck, but he's probably long gone. But we did get a wolf and a pig out of the deal, so can't complain about that. Um, let's just hop over the crest of this hill and see if the buck is still anywhere to be seen. There was also a chicken over there, but he was moving too fast in, in the brush for me to try and get a, a beat on him. There's another bear. Man, there's bears all over the place. When we ha have a little bit more firepower, we can hunt them too, but right now, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, there's the buck right there. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to have to wait till he calms down. Look at that shot. Beautiful. Oh, there's another one. Man, this is like hunting day, isn't it? That was a little far, far away for me to be using a shotgun. Oh, you stay there, Mr. Bear. We're not out for you today. Someday we will be, but not today. Today is not that day. Well, it was for your cousin who we killed earlier. You know, now that I think about it, uh, I do now remember in the patch notes for build 163 that they mentioned uh, that they increased the animal spawns. So I am definitely seeing that happen, which is a good thing. Okay, so we got have a total of 125 meat plus another 81. Let's bring... Oh, shit. Time to go. mountain lion. Look how big that guy is, too. I don't think we're going to mess with him right now. He's probably close to as tough as a dire wolf. And there are animals all over. We got deer. There's another dire wolf right off behind that uh, evergreen tree there. Uh, we've got a good supply of meat. I, let's just keep going for now. Um, and actually, let's take a look and see where we're at. So we still have quite a ways to go. Hopefully we can find a highway that'll start heading west again. And it looks like this one actually does. Okay, good. Good deal. Yeah, look at that big old dire wolf right there. We're not messing with him. We could kill him, but he just takes too much ammo. Oh, look, we found another trader. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> we found another trader. Awesome. Oh, we just got teleported away. I think this is Trader Bob. Um, or maybe it's Wrecked. Yeah, I think this is Trader Wrecked. Okay, cool. Very neat. It's funny that we've been finding the traders on our own without the quests leading us there.
the quest location. This is the grain wheel. Uh, but I think we're probably... We probably don't have time to do this uh, in this episode without it getting really long. I could, I could you know, do a speed run through it, uh, a time lapse. But since this is, will be our first time doing the um, grain mill here on Alpha 19, I'd like to go through it at normal speed. So I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and end the episode here. And I'm just going to hang out in this area until morning because I don't have a helmet light. Um, or, I don't know, maybe, maybe what we'll do is we'll we'll try and go through it um, using a torch and just see how well that goes. But nevertheless, we need to start that in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.